Fallout is one of the newest TV series released on Amazon Prime Video, and it's very good, holding up to the quality of some of the shows such as The Boys, in my opinion. And although I haven't played any of the Fallout games, this TV series was amazing. The world this series is set in is such a fun and interesting area to go to for a TV show. All the sets and locations felt really unique, and all of them really fit the aesthetic and theme of the show. I thought the way they built the world was great, because as someone who hasn't played the games, seeing the different areas of it and all of that come together over the first few episodes and build into the rest of the series i think that all worked amazing i truly felt this was this post-apocalyptic sort of world and every location they went to i believe that that would be what it is as a result of the war i personally love the retro aesthetic i think it just fits the whole vibe of the show and that's really fun if you've watched this show you'll know it had so many plots and subplots going on during the first two episodes i wasn't as into maximus's side of the story but as soon as he was connected up with the other characters we knew i really enjoyed him and every side plot and main plot carried its own and I was never bored going to one of them which I think sometimes happens with shows that have too much going on but every single one I was just excited to see each had their own mysteries that didn't seem to connect straight away and yet they did in the end as I was saying they had so many different mysteries and all these subplots and I loved all of them and I think that is one of the strongest points of this show I was just interested from start to finish I just loved the excitement going into each episode and into each scene there are normally some rough patches but I did not get that with this show the characters in this show were also brilliant like the ghoul lucy maximus all of them all felt unique and different and yet at the same time they are all heroes in their own right obviously the ghoul's a bit more of a villain in this series but with the backstory we get with him and with the setup for season two he is very much his own hero in this world and i love how we're almost telling these three stories of these characters all together but they are very much on their own journeys even characters such as norm was amazing in this like i loved everything to do with the vault 33 32 31 story Line. That element of it was some of the most interesting, and I'm excited to get more of that in season two. Obviously, with this comes great acting. All of the actors did a great job, so that's a bonus. I thought the VFX were also really good, and they almost felt game-like. I just remember the scene in episode two with the ghoul shooting everybody in Philly, and the shots of his gun being so explosive and bloody. It was so over the top, but I love it, and it felt like a game. The general colors of the show also felt like a game. They just had so many bright colors for everything and it, it looks so saturated which I feel like games tend to look like and so that was a nice addition. I will say the only bit of wonky CGI was at the end of the finale when we saw the Hank de-aging. It was terrible but I'm willing to let it slide. It doesn't bother me too much. I know what they're doing. I'm not one that really cares about VFX for the most part and it was like one scene. That's not going to ruin the show for me. Sadly I think the only thing that didn't work for me was the finale and that's not because it was a bad episode and the reveals were bad because they were all good. I just hate I have to wait for a season two because there's so many unanswered questions questions and I feel like we got less answers than new questions and so the ending of season one didn't feel like an ending of a season more a part one of a two-part series and so everything up until now I loved and I just want more if we ended this season like many other seasons of shows do with at least just a more concrete finishing this is where we're stopping for now I think I would have been more happy with that just having the finale end where I'm pretty sure season two is going to start on the dot I feel like that just doesn't work when you know it's going to be a while the ending definitely leads me with loads of excitement for season two but because of all that excitement i feel like i'm not on a good place to stop and that's all that really disappoints me the revelations in this season like the usa dropping the bombs on themselves and lucy's dad having something to do with it i guess those from like episode one or two i wasn't even mad that i was right sometimes people are like oh it's predictable i didn't enjoy it i still love the reveals when they happened and because i think that's such an interesting idea to run with it just got me more excited to see what they're going to do with that next season i'm not sure if this is something that was answered in the games and so this might not even be something people care about but i honestly think this show's almost better had you not played the games because whether that part is explained in the games or not i'm sure many other reveals and parts of the world have been i'm just glad i got to experience this world in this season without having that background knowledge because i feel like this show heavily leans on not knowing the world already with that said i would probably give this season a 9 out of 10 and the only thing that stops from being 10 out of 10 is literally the ending because i don't feel like it's a great place to just stop the season short other than that it's basically a perfect season in my eyes i loved it from start to finish i could not stop watching it it was funny it was brutal the drama was great it was intense it was exciting it was everything you really want in a show like this and i love that and yes i do want to try 
the games out now because of it. Having a look at it, it's not necessarily my favourite genre of games, but I'm willing to give it a try because I genuinely just love the concept of this world and I think it's really interesting. As I've said, I'm really excited for Season 2, but let me know down in the comments if you are excited for Season 2, or, or if you're not excited for Season 2, let me know why. I'd be interested to see what gripes you have with this season, if any, because I'm fairly positive about this whole season. Unfortunately, that is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching though, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.